On the 10th of April, 1937, Councillor Smithson opened the magnificent new Marine Crescent Gardens. In the gardens, a pond had been created, and in the middle of the pond, standing on an island, was Thetis, the goddess of water. For the next 70 years, the pond and all the surrounding gardens became more and more overgrown. Sadly, sometime we think in 1984, Thetis went walkabout, never to be seen again. By 2009, when the Friends of Waterloo Seafront Gardens was first set up, all four of the seafront gardens were in a sorry state, and the pond in particular had become a casualty of the general neglect. As the Friends group became more and more established, in 2010 they agreed that their main project for the following year would be the restoration of the pond and the replacement of Thetis with plants. Their plan was to get pupils from a local school to choose suitable plants and to pay a contractor to prepare the plinth for planting. Raising the grant took some time, but finally, in late 2011, the Merseyside Community Foundation came up with £500. In March 2012, work finally began and the first job was to clear the rubbish out of the pond and remove some disgusting weed. It's a pity, by the way, that we haven't learnt yet how to add smells to our videos. Perhaps our next Toxteth TV workshop can help us with that. When the weed was cleared, the Friends Group managed to persuade Mersey Fire Brigade to empty the pond so that they could re start to repaint it in a vivid blue paint provided by the council. Once the volunteers had cleaned the pond, they began the job of repainting it. They were ably assisted in this process by a group of very inquisitive local youngsters, some of whom were very keen to help, some of them not so much. As soon as they'd finished, Olsen House pupils were able to move in. They'd carefully chosen the appropriate plants for the new rockery in the, on the plinth, and with the help of the rangers, they created a fantastic new island rockery. Whilst they were working away, the pupils encountered yet another volunteer who was very able and willing to help in the process, Friends of Waterloo Seafront Garden recruit anybody for anything they come across. But now the bad news. Within days of completion, before the pond could be refilled, the plants had been ripped out and thrown all over the area. Not to be beaten though, the Friends group persuaded Olsen House pupils to come back again and replant what they could salvage, adding some more plants that the council were able to provide. Would you believe it, disaster struck again, this time after only two days. Even after all these setbacks, the Friends group were still determined not to let the vandals win. So, after talking to the council's brilliant contracts manager, Eric, Sefton Council came to the rescue and agreed to get a contractor to come in as soon as the pond had been cleared to replant the plinth yet again, but this time to refill the pond immediately. All went to plan, the rubbish was cleared out, the plants replaced, and the contractors began straight away to refill the pond with water. One of the contractor's men stood by as the pond slowly filled up, but after three hours the water supply suddenly stopped. Lo and behold, a group of youngsters had decided it would be great fun to take a link out of the hosepipe and spray passers-by. The culprits were quickly caught, and refilling continued. An attempt was made to talk to the youngsters, 
but the outcome, as you can see, was not a great success. By the end of the day, though, the job was done. And so now we are very, very proud of what we have achieved. It just shows you never must give up. We're now moving on. We've just started to put together a heritage lottery bid to record all the memories that people have had of our lovely gardens over the last 80 years before these memories are lost. Once we've done this, we can then progress to our ultimate goal, a complete restoration of all four of these magnificent Waterloo Seafront Gardens. <laughs>